Hey guys, it's Whiskey here again, and this is another how-to video, but today I'm going to show you how to install the Technic Pack, or install the Technic Launcher for anything, and I'll also show you how to do the server, show you a few problems that come along with it, and how to kind of fix them. I don't know everything how to fix them, but I'll try to help you guys out. First, you want, all you want to do is go the Technic you want to go to technic.net. I just te type in techit.net right here. Download the Technic Launcher. And whatever operating system you have, real easy. I already did that, so yeah. Oops, cancel. And what else you're going to want is the latest version of Java. So uh, type in java.com on Google or whatever search engine you use. I use Google. And just go to the job list you for Java download. Easy as that. Whatever one you have, it will give you 64 or 32 bit. I'll close those for I don't know. We'll just close this one for now. And uh, once you have it downloaded, double click on it. Type in your, your, your uh, Minecraft information. You do need Minecraft Premium or it won't work. My cousin and I both were on the same computer at one point. So that's why there's two accounts. We'll log in, so I just click that. But for now, don't worry about that. Now, if you're running a 32-bit version, or you're running, yeah, if you're running a 32-bit version of Technic Launcher, you're going to have the problems with when you open this up, it's gonna say check in version, it's gonna to load to three once you first do it and it won't and it won't open this. So what you do you just go to your start menu and you go app data percent sign app data percent sign. And it would have already have generated a file called dot technic launcher right here. And what you and then where you go is just the technic launcher dot jar. Oops oh, not well, let me look where it is first. Oops. No, just the jar. Uh, that's weird, but if it's not working, then just open with. I can't open with. And um, that's not supposed to happen. Okay. Well, I guess you guys will get the point. Just you look for your dot jar in there, and you double click and open that, and it should open. And it should open up just like this. Oops, they open up two of them. And if you're running a 64-bit, sometimes you'll get the problem if you have an antivirus to where it won't open. Well, it will open, but it won't allow you to play the game or download anything, even if you allow it. So, if you're having that problem, you want to go to whatever antivirus you have and temporarily disable it. I use AVG, so I go to temporarily disable. I'll go to five minutes, or however long it might take for you. It all depends, and you click OK. Then you want to start it back up and try to download and try to re-download re the mods. It will automatically do that. And this is how you pick whatever game you want to play on this. You can play the Technic, Techit, Yogbox, Voxel Mod Pack, Hack Slash Mine, and the regular Minecraft Vanilla. And I like to play Techit since I run a server. Now, let me show you how to install the server. It's really easy, actually. Oh, make sure you have win WinRAR. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh, no, you don't need it. But it makes it a little bit easier if you do. And I already have it, but I'll, I'll do this again for the sake of this video. You save, the, you save it. I'll put, all the down, I'll put all the links in the description, so don't worry about typing it in. I'm trying to find it. And, oh. I don't know why. And we'll go here. Take this out of the downloads. Double click this. And just what you also want to do. Damn it. What you also want to do is make your own server folder server folder for this. And you can put this in here. And push and just put right click and push extract here. It'll just extract all the files from there and put it inside the folder. Makes it a lot easier instead of you having to go whoosh, boom, right there in there. 
And there, there it is. And then you'll just, if you already have run, ran a server before, you just run the batch file. And it will load a few more files and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you have a trouble port forwarding, oopsies. Sorry, sorry, this is annoying. If you have a trouble, if you have a problem port forwarding, I can show you that here too. Once, I'm um, sorry guys, it's being really slow today. Now, when you're port forwarding, it depends on what your gateway is. I use a Linksys, and my gateway would be 192.168.1. Now I'll show you how to look at your gateway. I remember my password, so you might if you don't remember your password then I don't know what to tell you. Hold on, it's being very slow. What we want to do is go to your start menu, go to the run menu and just go to CMD. If you're running if you're running a 32 bit, you want to go to start and then wherever the run is. And then you type in IP config. You don't need to do a slash all, but you can if, you want, if you're interested in what that is. It just shows you more things. IP config. And then you look for your default gateway, which mine is 192.168.1.1. Easy as that. Then you go to your applications and gaming. And I already did it, but when you're running your server, it, by default, it will be this. Or um, 255, yeah, 25565, don't worry about the protocol. And whatever your IP address is here, and then you click Enable, Save Settings. And um, that's basically it. That's how you port forward. It's really easy. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I will try to answer them. If I don't know what they are, then sorry. And um, please rate, comment, and subscribe.